you're a chosen one and you're watching this video right now, you're going to love this. And I mean love this. And you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I explain this. So, you might, you might wonder, why are these people just treat me like shit? Like for no reason. Like what is, what is going on? What is going on here? And you just can't figure it out. <laughs> why people's just mad. I'm gonna tell you why people's mad. Because you're chosen. They're mad because you are in complete and utter control of your life. You grab life by the balls. And most people are just weak. Like, it's almost like you, you get something they don't. So the fact that you have a type of strength within yourself that these other people just don't have they're gonna get pissed at you for no reason. They, they can, they can naturally tell, just when you come around. Like they can tell. They can tell there's something up about you. They can tell. You're a very powerful person. And they are very weak. And I'm literally not even trying to be mean right now. I'm 100% serious. Like, there's just so much work they have not done or put on the back shelf. And you've done a lot of work to get to where you are. So, these people are automatically going to envy you like they just are. They always treat the chosen ones terribly for no reason. You don't treat them bad. You don't treat them like anything. You're just kind of going about your day, doing your thing. And they feel the need to, like, look at you weird, just not treat you like everybody else around. They're, they're just going to be mad at you for no reason. I've had these things happen to me since a young age, like randomly. I've had friends turn on me randomly, like in elementary school, which is fucking crazy. Like grade five, grade six. I had this friend and he just started acting like different. He'd start being nice to everybody else, and then he'd just start to be, like, really weird around me. And I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck are you doing? And we'd, like, say some things back and forth, like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, you got a problem? We can, we can fucking solve this right now. While everybody else is being cool, it's just, like, this one person just, they, they cannot stand you for no reason. It's because you're probably better than they are. And, oh, that sounds so cocky, it's just the truth. Like there's something about you that they just are missing. It's facts. They wouldn't be that mad if it wasn't about that. They wouldn't be that mad if you weren't so gifted. You're a chosen one. Not everybody's chosen. Not everybody gets that. But, you know, you will be treated like shit by people around you for no reason. People will ignore you. People will look at you and look the other way and just get out of your sight completely. They just don't even want to acknowledge like that you are who you actually are. They want to like downplay you in your entire existence for no reason because if they were to give you the credit for who you actually are, they just can't even not, they cannot live with themselves because it's far superior than what they are. And this is the cold hard facts. You've just done work that they have not done. Like, there's literally no other way of saying it. They have a very hard time with acknowledging the truth. This is what goes on. This is why these types of people will treat you bad. It's like they don't, they don't want to accept the person that you become, the person that you work so hard to be. They don't want to accept it. They want to act as if it does not even exist, as if you don't even exist. As if your levels below 
of what you actually are. They talk to you a certain way and it's like, buddy, like, <laughs> who the fuck are you? Like, you're not even, like, enough is enough. It's like literally, if I was to compare this situation, it could be someone the same age as you. It could be someone even a couple years older than you. It could be a grown ass adult that's in their late 20s, 30s, 40s, anything. That's acting this way. And I'll compare this to like, you guys ever see like a really arrogant young kid? Like I mean like, maybe four feet tall, just a young little kid that thinks that, that comes around you acting a certain way as if they could beat you up if they wanted to when you could literally just crush them like a can. But they act that way. When in actuality, you could take their life within like two seconds if we're being really real about it. It's like the same thing how these people act towards you as if things are different, but things just are how they are. Like, you are who you are, you're on the level that you're at, you're doing what you're doing, they are who they are, and they can't accept it. The same thing as, a, as like, this little tiny infant of a kid, maybe not an infant, but just like a little kid, maybe eight, nine years old, ten years old. They have the mindset that, oh yeah, they could beat you up. When it's like, this kid is a joke. It's like the same thing. The delusional levels are on like the same level. People just can't accept what is. That, that kid, that arrogant kid cannot accept that you could destroy them. But they want to run around acting like something. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here, little squirt. You know what I mean? You see every now and then a little kid like that. Like, I used to go to hockey rinks all the time. There'd be little kids like that. It's like... You're going, you're going to your dressing room with your bag and there's kids running around just acting tough. It's the same thing. The delusional levels, levels are so high. And I just use that as an example. And it's just the truth. <clears throat> so a lot of people in life have a hard time accepting reality. And when it kicks in, they get pissed. They cannot take the truth. When reality sinks in and you make them know exactly what you are and you make them know exactly what they are, that's when they get really pissed. Because they live in La La Land. They don't live in reality. They hate reality because they hate who they are. You love who you are. They hate who they are. So they want to sugarcoat things as if things are different when no, things just are how they are. Things aren't the way you want them to be. Things just are how they fucking are. And they don't like that. Because in their minds, oh yeah. I'm better than you. I know more than you. When actually, if you want to look at the statistics, if you want to look at uh, who's done what, let's see who's where. Let's look at uh, the numbers here. They're not even close. Your lifestyle is far superior to theirs in all ways. But they, they want to act like they're better than you or no more than you. You don't go around this way acting like that to them. But they initiate something as if they're better than you first. So when they do that, okay. And then you tell them the truth and they get all pissed. Because you bring facts to the table. You don't act this way. You don't act this way. You don't act better than nobody. You just live your life. Your confidence is where is that because of all the work you've done. And then you get those people that want to act a certain way. And they ain't nothing. But you are because you've done the work. You created yourself into something. You've done the work. And they just haven't. So <sighs> when they get hit with the facts, they're all rattled. They're all pissed off. And it's all because they know it's the truth. You bring them to reality, which is a place they don't want to be. 
And quite frankly, I don't deal with people that cannot deal with reality. They're bitter about reality. They're bitter about their life and existence and, and all this kind of stuff. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you can't, you, you can't, you cannot make ends meet with a person like that. You cannot have anything healthy with a person like that. It's always going to be bad. Like, 100% of the time, it's always going to be bad. It's always going to end bad 100% of the time, is what I'm going to say. And you'll just find yourself veering off from people like that, and they're going to go their way, you go your way, and you'll not end up anywhere close together. But unfortunately, you will go to certain places in public where there's a lot of people like that, and when you come across them, it is what it is. They want to act a certain way, but you are a certain way. They're a certain way, but they don't want to act how they actually are. They want to they want to put on a show as if they're different when that's exactly who you are, pal. And when you tell them this, when you make them know this deeply, when you bring the facts to the table, they just look at you right pissed off. Oh, yeah. You're pissed off because you know we're right. And you know you're wrong. So. And these people watching this video, they'd be pissed just hearing this. Because it's the truth. This is why they treat the chosen ones poorly. We don't go around doing this kind of shit. We don't even think about this stuff until they want to act a certain way. As if they're all cool. Or a level above you. You're not even fucking close. You moron. You just want to act that way. It's not who you actually are. When we bring the facts to the table, you're literally nothing. Done nothing. So, they put this on themselves by acting this way. <clears throat> People who have accumulated success keep it to themselves until confronted. Because we don't let people step on us. That's why I will take this to the top. If people want to come around me acting a certain way, okay, you're challenging me. If you want to do that, then we can go there. And then I'll bring up the facts. But other than that, I just, I'm a normal, regular human being. I just go around the world acting like a regular, normal human being. I'm not going around, yeah, I'm, I'm all this, I'm all that. I don't act that way. I'm as chill as they come. I keep quiet. I do my work. When people want to come around me acting a certain way or acting all cool or as if there's something, you have to sit the fuck down before I bring up the facts and then you start crying. You know what I mean? It's just how it is, bro. So these people are absolute clowns and they want to treat you bad when you come around. They, they, they'll act nice to everybody else, but when you come around, they don't act nice to you. It's because they know you're about that real life shit. It's because they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. They know you, you, you have accomplished more than they ever will in their entire lives. And you're only at the beginning. It's because they will never do the work that you've done in such a short period of time. They don't have it in them. They don't have the will to win. They don't have the determination. They don't have it. So... <laughs> It is what it is. This is my breakdown on why people treat the child's ones poorly, horribly. It's the truth. Unsuccessful people do not belong around successful people. Being successful is a mindset. And not a lot of people have it. In fact, way more people have an unsuccessful mindset than a successful mindset because it's easier to just be a little snot than to actually do the work to build yourself up into something that's actually worthy. You get what I'm saying? It's all about your mindset, bro. There's zero point of being a hater. There's zero point of being envious. Take all that, whatever you feel, and put it into your own self. And then you won't feel that way because you're doing the work. People that hate, people that do these types of things, they're not putting in the work. People who put in the work don't even have the energy to be jealous, envious, bitter, all these effed up things. They don't have the energy. 
They don't think about those things because they're doing the work. When you do the work, you won't be that way. If you don't do the work, you'll probably be that way. So do the work. The only thing that matters is your results at the end of the day. That's all anyone cares about is your results. You got to get results. It's just the world we're living in. You got to get results. Because if you don't, you got nothing to show for. Having a successful mindset without results means you will eventually get results. But if you give up on a successful mindset, you will never get the results. It's about keeping a successful mindset for years upon years upon years. And you will eventually get the results that you work for. It's what it comes down to. And a lot of people don't have it in them to actually do it. But you can't give up. You have to keep going. You have to keep pushing hard. The last thing you should want to be in this world is a hater. Is an envious person. Just, uh, get out of here, bruh. Get out of here. Please, get out of here. You're not wanted. Your energy is not wanted over here. Get out. These people too, bro, when they know you, they will start to avoid you. The better you start to get, the more they're going to want to avoid you because when they see you, it's like a mirror. When they see you and they see how well you're doing, it just shows them how well they're not doing. So another reason why they'll treat the chosen ones terribly. You get something new, they'll downplay it. Yeah, that sucks. Because it's what they have to do to feel good about themselves. It's all about them. It is all about them. They can't They can't give you credit for nothing. Well, let's say if someone came around you and they did something impressive, you would give them credit. You would acknowledge what they'd done. You would acknowledge what they achieved. And you tell them about it. You tell them good job. You tell them this. You tell them that. They can't do that. In fact, they do the opposite. They will downplay whatever you've done, whatever you've accomplished. Let's say you bought a new car. They'll downplay it. Yeah, that sucks. It's not a good car. It's just not a fast car. Whatever they can think of to, to, to say, to downplay what you have or what you've done or what you've accomplished, they'll do just that. So, these are the most miserablest motherfuckers in the face of this planet. And you should be nowhere near them. You could be a better looking person than them and they'll call you ugly. They'll call you this. They'll call you that. It's like, if I'm ugly, what the fuck does that make you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they'll say anything to to downplay you. They'll say anything to just make you feel lesser than you actually are. To make themselves feel better, higher than you, when they're not higher than you at all. People who are high up, for real, they don't even talk about nothing. But these people want to bring these things into play and, and say all these things and downplay you any way they can. Because they have a loser's mindset. They're jealous. They're envious. They can't stand who you are. They can't stand who they are. They can't stand that you're better than them. And it's just a cold hard facts. They want to be better than you so bad. But they can't. Because you're better at being you than they are at being them. And that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Everybody has potential. Everybody can do certain things, but not everybody will. Not everybody will. So, you got to be the one that does it. It's the only way. If you don't, you will regret it. <clears throat> Life's too short to not live out your potential. Find a way. Do new things. It's way too short. Gotta figure it out. You do not want to end up like everybody else. The last thing you want, bro.